All right, can anyone hear me? Because I can see you, but I can't hear anyone. Can you send me a message and let me know if you can hear me? Okay, I can hear someone kind of. Right, Papes, I can't hear you clearly. Yo. Oh, I can hear you, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's cool. So I'm going to assume then that everyone can hear me. Yeah, there's a button. There's a button in the um, bottom left corner to do the audio. You've got to choose uh, your computer. Okay, so they need to do that on their side. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get you. Uh, I thought I'd enable chat in here. And so. Yeah, I've, I've just dropped a message too. Okay, I can't see your message. Okay. I can't see it. Just. Okay, can you see my screen? Yep. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm going to start then. And to everyone else that's on here, let me know if you can't hear me or if you're having some kind of um, issues. All right just so that I know. I can see that one person is waiting to join. Um, let me see if I can get them in. Okay. So I can see the chat. Okay, okay. So this is not for... All right, then, cool. Just one thing. Oh, no, I've got it. I'm admitting people. As I see you join, I'm just going to admit you, okay? But I'm going to get started because they only give limited time. And I want to do as much as I can in this session. Okay, so... Like I said before, if you have any issues, let me know. Drop me a message, all right? But I'm sharing my screen. So the first thing I wanted to do, just give a quick introduction to myself. I'm Missy Brown. If you don't know what I do, I do international showcasing. I'm a DJ. I also do funding applications. I sit on panels for the Foundation. Um, I've been successful in getting funding from Arts Council and various other places. And I did this, I set up this webinar because I want to show as many people as I can because people always ask me how they can access funding. And obviously I can't spread myself around to help everybody out. But I wanted to come up with something today. Um, mm -hmm. For real? If you've got, um, you got background noise, can you mute your microphone, please? All right, sorry. That was a good part of me. Yeah. Let's do that. I don't know how to. Uh, um, I'm not sure, but it's something we could be able to see. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I set this up so that I could just show as many people as possible how to apply for funding and the different funding they can get and the best way of wording their applications and structuring an application form. So, at the moment, I'm on the PRS for Music website, and they have different funds. If you've not been on their website before, do have a look and have a look at the different funds. So this one that I've opened up here is 
and a new, I think it's a new fund, but it's a, the Emerging Artists Fund. So it's for artists that are in their early stages and they have around opening early next year. So it's worth just going backwards and forwards to the, the PRS Foundation website and checking when their new funds are actually open and when they start to take applications. And I think that some of their applications start opening around February, but it's worth just keeping an eye on and getting your ideas together as well for anything that you might want to apply for. Um, all right so what i'm going to do in this session is i'm going to go through a success a successful application that i put in to the arts council i just want to talk you through it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some questions and i'll try and answer as many questions as i can and then in the next session what i'll do so if there's like a good response from this one, in the next session, what I'll do, I'll pick one person who wants to submit an application and we can do an application together online. All right, so that'll be the next session. But in this one, I want to talk you through an application that I put together. Okay, so this is an Arts Council application form that I did. And it's for a project <coughs> called Connect to Collaborate, which I can see a couple of people on here that are actually part of this project. So this is what the application actually looked like, the first stage of the application. If you haven't got an account with Arts Council, do make one. It takes about a week for your account to be verified. So it's worth just doing it and getting that in motion ready for what, when you want to actually make an application. Okay, so this section here where it's talking about giving a concise description of the activity, this section is one that I always do last. So what I do is on paper, I start to make notes about what it is that I want to do and then I start to flesh it out a little bit more and I get an idea of a project and then it starts to take some life so I do all this before I even start filling in the application so what I do is I break it down bit by bit so this one for example is for a four-month research and development activity and I wanted to explore international collaborations on the careers of, of UK artists so this application form and most application forms actually you have like a character count so it's really important that you're able to get across what you need to get across in as little words as possible basically and so this was my this was my paragraph so this just sums up my project the amount that I asked, asked for, because it was the first part of the project, it was just over £5,000. And it's important as well that you have a start date and an end date for your activity. So give yourself like realistic timelines. And this is true for any project. So every project or any project you apply for, you gotta have a start date and you gotta have an end date, all right? If I'm going too fast for anyone, just let me know, but it's good to make as many notes as you can while I'm talking so that when it comes to um, putting your questions out there, I can answer them. This section here is really, really important. So Arts Council are really interested in your artistic, quality so what what's the artistic outcomes going to be why is it artistic why does it matter so arts council are really big on everything being artistic it's got to be about the arts so it doesn't matter if you're a painter designer producer music maker whatever whatever it is yeah you've got to think about the artistic quality of your project Okay, so this section here, they ask about 
your artistic work, your experience and your achievements. So this is an opportunity for you to shout about all the good things that you've done that are relevant to the project that you're asking for money for. Okay, so these are some of the things that I have done. I've done a lot more since I've actually put this application in, but at the time, these were the main things that I wanted to include because I felt like they were relevant to what I was asking for. And again, you have a character count. So you can see it's 1500 characters in this particular section. Okay, so this next section, your proposed artistic activity. So here is where you think about what do you want to achieve? What is your activity? Is it artistic? And what do you want to achieve from doing it? So I had to, it took me ages to write this by the way, because I had to keep going away, writing about it, going over it and challenging myself to say, okay, is it artistic enough? Are the achievements realistic? Are they relevant? Are they gonna work? So this is where I had to just break down what it is that I wanted to do as best as possible. So I outlined the amount of people that would be involved. Artists and producers. I made it relevant. Okay. Uh, I've got background noise. Can you mute your microphone? You've got background noise, please. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, no. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I broke down. No, I just think it's close to there. This floor is just close to there. But... Can you I don't know what's going on with this. No. All right, can everyone still hear me? I hope so. Okay, so this is, an, this is an overview of what I wanted to do. So I talked about what I would do in the UK as well as what I wanted to do in the US. And I broke it down Oops. exactly as how it would be. So artists and producers would collaborate on one track <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try and mute some people and then I will unmute so you can ask questions. All right, so I broke it down no, no. in terms of, in terms of how many tracks would be produced. So I made it clear that this project would produce six tracks and there would be six artists and producers involved. Then I talked about what the aims were. So these were my aims, an exploration of the impact UK and US collaborations can have on the career of UK artists. So I put down four main aims that I wanted to achieve for the project. All right. So you've got what I want to do and the aims. So this is what I was aiming to achieve. So the next bit looks at why is this important for your artistic development? So it's important. I saw it as a continuation of my support to Birmingham hip hop and grime creators. And I talked about how each artist would further develop their creative practice through the production of new music. 
via the collaborations. Okay, so this particular application, it wasn't about my artistic um, benefit, but more about the people that were involved, how it's going to benefit them artistically and how it was artistic. So I talked about a new experimental sound. So what, that's one of the things that is really key and you should take note of as well. Always try and think outside of the box when it comes to your projects. What new thing can you bring to the table? How imaginative is it? You know, if it's just like a, a box standard recording, you want to record like a, a six track album or EP, that's fine. But how is it going to be different? How is it going to stand out? What makes it more artistic? What makes it exciting? What's going to give it the wow factor? So you've got to think about all those kind of things. I remember as well, with Arts Council, you can apply for between 1,000 all the way up to 15,000 pounds for a, a six week turnaround. So you can really start to think about your project, stretch it over like the long term. You can apply for equipment as well via Arts Council. So it could be if you are recording um, like a new EP or something, can you need time in the recording studio? It might be that you need access to certain software or you might need access to certain equipment that you don't have that you will need in order to make your project happen. So think about that as well. And if it can add something different to your application, then it's definitely worth mentioning it. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to do was to trial the use of tapes as a platform for artist collaborations. And then put the results on streaming platforms. So I was very specific in terms of where I wanted it to go, what I wanted it to do, and what was going to happen. So always think specifically and really break your application down as much as possible. Okay, so I had a number of people that wanted to get involved. That section's really easy. It's just about who is going to be involved in your project. Okay, so this section here, this is important as well because it's all about people who are going to benefit from your activity. So think about your numbers here. So how many artists are going to benefit from what you're doing? So by artists, it could be artists, creatives, so anyone who's involved artistically. And then you have participants. So if you're doing like some kind of workshop or something, then those would be classed as participants. Audiences are people that attend. And just if it's a show that you're doing, they're the audience in the show, basically. And then you've got your audience online. And that can come from many different sources. So think about all the different online sources that you have that you're going to be able to utilize in your project to really get those numbers looking good but be realistic as well don't be like yeah i'm going to reach a million people online if you know that you really haven't got the capacity to do that make it realistic as well and believable okay so all right so a number of new products and commissions so this is looking at the results of your activity all right, so what's going to happen after your project? What are the real results going to be? So really think about that and try to quantify it in terms of new commissions, employment for artists, performances, exhibition days, and any sessions for education, training, or participation. So really have a think about how you can quantify that. What I'm going to do is, in about two minutes, I'm going to unmute the microphones. And if you want to ask me something, then 
feel free to ask something and then um, I'll start I'll start answering. Okay, so yeah, that's like um that's just talking about your age range, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That's pretty easy to do. You, I don't think you need me to explain that. Okay, so this section then, public engagement. This is really, really important as well because think about how and who you're going to engage. Are you reaching new people? Are you reaching new people that normally wouldn't access the arts because they really, really like that? So if you're reaching a new demographic that wouldn't normally participate in the arts in some way, shape or form, you know, then, then mention that. And if you can think of a way to engage people who wouldn't normally engage, then definitely include that because that's what they want to see. They want to see that more people are engaging with what they do. So in this section, I talked about the artists and music producers and how they'd be a key part of the activity. So the people who are taking part, they are engaging. And then I talk about further engagement outside of those artists and producers that are involved in the project. Okay, so further engagement could be the people that are based in the US that are taking part, the other artists and producers, DJs, etc., that are going to be invited to attend any the show or exhibition, etc., etc. And then talking about the long-term engagement. So if you try and break it down into who's going to engage, who's going to engage directly, who's involved in your activity, you've got those. Then think about, okay, further engagement who else is going to engage, think about that. And then look at engagement with the results of the activity. So after the project's finished, how are you going to still continue to get engagement? So you've got to think beyond the project as well. So it's that thing about the results and the impact of the activity that you're doing. So my further engagement I looked at um, like Spotify, streaming, etc. And I mentioned like particular playlists that I would like to have access to and the potential audiences that I would be able to reach in a long term, in the long term. Okay, so think about who's involved now and who's going to be involved later on down the line and break that off and really try and quantify that as best as you can. And then you've got about reaching your target audience. So this is more about the marketing. So think about ways that you're going to reach your target audience and anything that you have already done to make that happen make sure that you put that in there because before you come up with a project you're going to have thought about it you might have already started talking to people so any groundwork that you've already done is really really good to go into an application form so make sure that you mention that as well okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to unmute and if you want to ask me a question, feel free and I'm going to answer and then I'll continue. All right, has anyone got a question for me? Anyone want to ask me anything? You might, to, you might have to unmute your microphone yourself as well. So do let me know if you've got a question so that I can... Yeah, I have one question. Can you hear me, by the way? Okay. To come through. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, how will the UK artists be chosen? Like, how are you going to pick them? Based on what, exactly? It depends on your project. So, have, right. you, have you got something in mind? Have you got a project well, in mind? Yeah, I have. Um, it's Like, I've already kind of posted it on Instagram, but I can send it through to you. Like, I do have some stuff in mind. It was just like an instrumental album that I put together. Uh, six track EP but I did get some of the artists on it but I had to just post it how it was you know okay. so you got an instrumental album and you want yeah. some artists involved yeah okay and do you want to get funding to release the album market the album yeah, market the album? yeah of course that would benefit Okay, so are you focusing more on the instrumentals or are you focusing on the artists? Well, as a producer, I think obviously the quality of the music comes first. So I, I was focusing at first mainly on the instrumental, like creating the sound, you know, mm -hmm. for the artists because that's it's, it's the bedding, you know, the foundation. I guess, but I guess when the artist comes on, it can cater, cater to them as well. Okay, so for your then, you really want to focus on, on, on what you're asking for funding for. So okay. if, if mm -hmm. the artists are coming on at a later stage, if that's like secondary and you don't know who they are, maybe... Well, trying to source them as well. Pardon? It's trying to source them to find the, the right artists to get on. And that's where tapes would obviously help out. Okay. But in your application, you wouldn't want to say, oh, I'm going to try and find art. You wouldn't want to put that in your application. If you mm -hmm. had specific artists that you wanted to work with, perhaps, then you could include them in the application. But mm -hmm. if you haven't found your artists yet, then... Mm -hmm. Um, I wouldn't mention them because it sounds a bit too ambiguous and a bit like mm -hmm. you're not sure where the project's going to end. Yeah. I see. Okay. So you want to really be focused on, on your project. So you could talk about artists potentially in the outcome. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe that you would target a specific type of artists or a number of artists um, but you'd want to be as specific as possible because what you don't want it to look like is that mm -hmm. you think about what you're doing right does that make sense yeah yeah of course of course i mean yeah 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 okay cool um all right i'm gonna keep going has anyone else got a question yeah i have a question uh-huh Okay, if you got a project in mind, is it is it best to wait until you got the funding, or or if you've already got it going because you can't really put a timeline to it if you haven't got the funding. But if you're applying for funding, you have to have a timeline, so you would have to think about your project start date and end date. Okay. So you you have to put that in your application, like that's. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's not going to get even, it's not going to get noticed. Okay, so if I've already, say if you've already started it, is it best to just to put it on hold if you've done the application? If you've already started, project? if you've already started your project, um, you can't really apply for funding for something that's already started or something that's already happened. So it okay. might be that you apply for funding for the next stage of your okay. project. Yeah. All right. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, yeah, just really think about your start date, your end date, how long the project's going to be for, who's involved in the project. If, it's, um, if you're applying to Arts Council, you can apply for equipment. So I don't know what your project is or how many stages there could be. But it could be the work that you've done so far, you could call that maybe like the planning period. So maybe okay. you've already started to 
to put things in place to make this project happen and you need the money so that you can kind of make it to the next level oh yeah i get you yeah yeah so just yeah. break it down like as much as you can and think about mm -hmm. different stages that your project could have okay yeah I mean. and think about how much everything's going to cost as well what are the costs that are going to be attached to that uh, anyone else want to ask me anything before i continue all right i'm going to carry on then okay so this section we're looking at finance so one of the things that i notice when i'm assessing applications is that the budgets are some of the budgets are done really badly so you've got to really think about how you are putting your budget together and the prices that you are placing on things so it's got to be realistic and it's got to be believable as well it's, and it's got to make sense so if there's any kind of like discrepancies then you have to address them because applications get turned away on the budget not being right just that alone you could have a good application elsewhere and your budget could be bad and that will definitely go against you so it's really important part of your application so you will see something like this on an arts council application form okay it looks at your income uh, if you've got background noise, please mute your um your microphone. Thank you. Um, okay, so for this particular one, what I did was I made support in kind a significant part of my income. And if you don't know what support in kind is, all that means is it could be that you're holding an event somewhere and the venue has said to you, okay, we normally charge a thousand pounds, but we're going to give it to you for 300 pounds because we like what you're doing. So that would mean that you have support in kind from that venue to 700 pounds and you would put that in your budget as support in kind. So the more kind of, support in kind that you can get to support your budget the better because then what it looks like is you're not not just relying on one source for income. so the person that asked me um about when you already started your project some of those costs you could potentially put as support in kind. you just have to really think about how you're going to do that but it's possible that you could list them. Okay, so you have expected versus confirmed. And also, okay, so here, this is, this is my support in kind. So, as you can see, had quite a lot in terms of support and kind and I quantified that, put a number to every piece of support and kind that I had within my budget. Okay, so expenditure as well. So this is what you are spending your money on. All right, so be really specific. So here you can see what I've done is I've really broken it down. So for example, I've put accommodation time 10 days at £50 a day equals £500. Instead of just putting accommodation or travel, you know, be as specific as you can. And it makes it more understandable, makes it more relatable. It looks like you've done your research and it, it, you don't want it to look like you just thought of figures out in there and just put them in the application form. 
because I see that a lot as well and then it goes <coughs> it goes against you so you don't want to do that so be as specific and as detailed as you possibly can okay so this is another part of the form so has anyone got any any questions is anyone working on an application at the moment Is anyone working on anything? Is anyone thinking about working on anything? Well, yeah, I'm planning to after this seminar, definitely. Okay, and that's your instrumental one? Well, I would like to make a full project with artists and do like something with a bit more weight to it and not just have instrumentals. Okay, okay. Well, that sounds interesting. You know, and that would definitely tick the box of, you know, creating new music. Of course, yeah. With the Arts Council as well, they want to see something tangible come out of it. Yeah, of course. If, if you're creating new music that could have like a, a lasting impact on a particular yeah. thing, then yeah. you know, mention that. Yeah, okay. Um, is there anyone else who's working on anything or thinking about working on something potentially? Just one person. Okay, so what I'll do is I will carry on. So here I put in my experience in managing budgets. So I related it to lots of work that I've done um both in like my day job and as a running project etc et and also what they want you to do is to go into a little more detail about how to figures your application so I explain I use Skype and Google Flights and just talk about where you've got your numbers from. So again, it's kind of that thing of, okay, I didn't just make these numbers up, I actually went out and I did my research. And if you do that for every piece of expenditure that you have, then yeah, that will make your application a little bit stronger as well. So I also put a statement about my in-kind support and the fact that I negotiated around 50% of the, of the costs for the project as in-kind support. So what they want to see as well is that you are able to get, you are able to get support from your project elsewhere. So anything that you can think of that is potentially someone maybe can give you for free or at a reduced cost is really going to help. All right, has anyone got a question or want to share anything with me that you're working on and maybe I can provide some kind of advice and help while we are on here live? And you can message me in the chat as well if you don't want to speak but i will can we drop um, can we drop our links to, to projects we're working on in um, the chat basically i'm not going to have time to look at anything like that and and let me can um can give it a go and if i can open it here if you yeah. don't mind other people seeing it then that's fine yeah i, I totally don't mind at all Okay. Uh, plus, if anyone's interested to collaborate, it's it's there, you know. Uh, one second. And you know, the whole point of me doing this is to be able to give some feedback and some advice, mm -hmm. etc. So, if anyone is working on anything or if anyone's got an idea that they're thinking about, you know, then just say and. I'm happy to just like provide some advice, etc. while we're on here. So, yeah, don't just uh, listen. 
in silence and throw your eyes also, at me. Also, I've, I've set up. Okay, sorry, sorry, carry on. All right. <laughs> So, did you say that you sent me something? Yeah, I'm just finding the right link for you. Okay, cool. Uh, All right. So, while you're doing that, what I will have a look at is partners. So, one of the things that they've really right. done as well. <laughs> Partners in your project, what kind of experience do they have, and how are they going to make your project better? You've got to think about your team who's in your team, who else is around you that can get involved that is going to make this work. And regardless of whether you're applying to Arts Council or PRS Foundation, it's really important to think about your team okay are you ready with that link so yeah i posted it in the chat in the group chat he organized it okay i can't see oh yeah yeah i can see so right yeah yeah okay so it's taking me to Instagram. So is this what you were talking about that you have? Yeah. So this is what I've set up. It's basically a label, uh, which I've set up and basically yeah, I've posted up the music, which I've been producing. And what I've started doing now is sharing like freestyles and just things from up and coming artists, uh, just to help yeah. them get some more views and, yeah. you know, just trying to build up the, the, the scene and, yeah, I'm just trying to create some movement from the label. So is this something that could be supported? Potentially, anything can be supported. You just got to make a good enough case for it. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, what I'm, I need help with right now. Yeah, so you've just got to think about what you are applying to funding for, what your project looks uh -huh. like. Who's right. going to be involved? What do you need the money for? What kind of impact is your project going to have? Is it right. going to have an impact on a particular group of people? Is it going uh -huh. to engage new people? Um, yeah. You know, all those kind of things. So right. that's what you really need to be thinking about and do like um, a brainstorming kind of session. So uh -huh. all of those points in mind. So where do you want it uh -huh. to go? Who do you want it yeah. to be? What are you applying for? You know, right. in terms of money. Do you need equipment? If you need equipment, why do you need that equipment? You know? I think it's it's what I need right now is the like facility rather than equipment. So when you say facility, what do you mean? Like studio to be able like a professional environment to work in. Okay. So you're looking for studio time to studio time to produce the tracks or to work into recording and and just yeah get a finished product done you know. Okay, so how many tracks do you want to make? I want to go to Sony Studio in it. I well, I reckon. What's it? What would you say is a decent amount of, uh, of time? Because I know like. Audio listeners' times are, are going down nowadays. People don't really like long songs from what I've seen. So how long would you reckon is a decent album? Well, that's kind of... It depends, doesn't it, from, from person to person. So mm. you know, but in terms of funding, you've got mm -hmm. to think about what is your project going to be. So if mm -hmm. it's going to be like a... A twenty-track album is that going to be too many songs? You know, I I, I would think so. Yeah, maybe you want to test the waters with a ten-track album and kind of see how that does. Mm -hmm. You know, and then maybe go up. Because what I what I've done previously is I've released the six-track EP. This has vocals on it and stuff, and that did pretty well. That's the stats from it mm. that you can see there. 
Okay. So all of that was from the, the six track EP in the middle. Um, so I reckon around maybe six to 10 tracks is, is decent. Okay. Yeah. So you would need to just put a final figure on it if you're going to go for fun yeah. and maybe say like, okay, I want to do eight tracks. I reckon, I reckon seven. Okay. So yeah. Seven. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tracks. So you want to do yeah. them over this particular period of time and you mm. want to record them in this particular studio and you'll need mm. this amount of hours to do that. And mm -hmm. this is the, it's going to leave this kind of legacy and what you could say mm -hmm. based on what I've done previously and based on those stats, you could say something like you're looking to maybe increase those stats, maybe mm -hmm. quadruple or triple those stats and reach uh, a wider amount of people by plugging into to different areas and maybe working mm -hmm. with uh, other people. Um, mm -hmm. so those are the kind of things that you could be thinking about and putting in your application. Right. Okay. So it's really about being as specific as possible. Yes. That's the main thing. But, um, you know, definitely I would encourage you to apply to mm -hmm. uh, sure. for something like this. I think yeah. the PRS Foundation funds might be a little bit too competitive for right. what you want to do, but they do have a fund for producers, so it's worth right. looking at yeah. that as well. Yeah, um, mainly for producing, yeah. Yeah. that I would apply for. Yeah, we do have a producer fund, so it's yeah. Working, yeah. But uh -huh. you, know, say, you know, definitely Arts Council, you, you could you could go for it as you are now. Uh -huh. Apply to the Arts Council for maybe like three or four thousand pounds. I don't know how much you're looking at getting, but you know, uh -huh. yeah, just write okay. ideas down. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just making notes throughout the whole session. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. Has anyone else got anything they would like me to, to look at? Right. Right. Is someone asking me a question? I can't tell. I can hear like background noises. But anyone want to ask me anything? Any ideas? Anything? Because I'm going to wrap up in around 10 minutes or so. And what I wanted to do on the next one is actually go through an application live so mm -hmm. one person gets to work with me directly and we go through an, an application live online and i help them fill it out say all the right things etc etc and you know we see what happens off the back of that there will be some criteria that i'll need you to meet and what i would do mm -hmm. is i'll make that clear um, but that is definitely something that, you know, I'm looking to do in the next one. So if you are interested in mm -hmm. taking part in that, and this is going out to everyone, if anyone's interested in taking part in that, then, you know, please, please, if you sign up to tapes and you don't have to create a bio or anything, just make sure that your email address is in there because then you will get on the mailing list. And everything that is going on, you will get an email and you'll be able to like sign up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go through really quickly some of the other parts of the application form. So I talked about how important it is to have a team in place and think about what your team can bring to the table as well and their experience and their potential network as well is really really important and mm -hmm. um, is it touring activity you'll always get asked this with arts counseling if it's not then you just say no if it is then you say yes and that's another thing as well so you can actually apply to arts council to do a tour so any of you who are thinking about maybe doing a tour for some recent work that you've that you've done and it might even be just like some small venues up and down the uk 
you can totally apply to the Arts Council for that. They have the money to do that. They allow you to do that. You just have to make a good enough case for it. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who are performers, that, you know, I hope you have a think about that. Um, all right, so this section, the activity plan, is really, really important as well. So this talks about your planning, the planning that you've already done and the planning that you're going to do to make the activity happen. So think about any planning that you've done already and really break it down. So this is some of the planning that I had to do ahead of this activity. So I had to do a lot of groundwork in terms of talking to people, getting certain things in place, etc., etc. And this was an application that I actually did lastminute.com and, and I submitted it and I kind of, I didn't forget about it, but I wasn't sure whether or not I'd done enough in the application form or not. Um, but it, it went through and they, they gave me the money. And off the back of this, off the back of me doing this project, I was then able to then apply for more money to extend the project and take the group of people that I was working with out to Atlanta so that we could continue working on the project out there. So um, you never know what can happen, you know. Um, if you start the ball rolling, at least, and you do a good job, then there's always potential for you to go back and get some more money to do another stage of the project. So do mind as well. Okay, so this activity timeline took me absolutely ages. It's probably one of the worst bits of the application form for me. Um, but it's, it's important as well because they want to see that you know what you're talking about and that you can actually do the things that you say you're going to do and the process that it takes for you to actually do them. So I broke everything down pretty much week by week of the entire project as much as I could and put as much information in there as I possibly could. So if you can break your project down into like weeks or fortnightly sections or something and just to show that these are the things that you're going to do. So it's like, um, it's like target setting in a way. So you kind of working to goals and targets and, and that's what this section is really your project in way more detail and the different things that you're going to actually have to do to make it happen and when you're actually going to need to do them by make and it sure doesn't matter if these dates change that's not the point the point is that you've shown that you've thought about what you're doing and you've got a mm -hmm. plan in place Okay, so those are the, the most important parts of the application form, to be honest. Um, Quick question. Yeah? Uh, where can we access the application form? So if you go to the Arts Council website. Ah, uh, from there, okay. Yeah, but you will need to create a login. You need to create an account, and it takes uh -huh. a week for your account to be verified. So it's worth doing that just so that your account's verified so that when they have, um, yeah. because some of their funding has deadlines and you don't uh -huh. want to be held back by a week because you haven't managed to get your account sorted. So it's worth doing it even if you guys just do it today, at least then you have an account with the Arts Council that's there. Mm -hmm. And with the Arts Council as well, they do have a helpline. Feel free to phone them and ask them as many questions as you need to because that's what they're there for. And they will also look through your application form with you on the phone. So it's worth taking advantage of that because they're the best people to kind of go through it with you because it's coming from them. So if you get stuck on anything or you're not sure about something, phone them and ask them and get someone to go through it with you while you're on the phone. They do a similar kind of thing with like the shared screen so they can see what you're writing, etc., etc. So if you're struggling, just phone them up. 
Mm -hmm. Has anyone got anything they want to ask? I've got just a couple of minutes left before I end it. Yeah, how, what kind of timeline? So once you've done all your planning, mm. you know what, what you want the event to be, how, how long would it take to do an application form like that one? How long, do you mean how long will it take to, for them to get back to you with an answer? Um, both. So how long will it take to kind of fill that application? How long did it take you to fill that application form out? Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, how long does it take them to get back to you as well? Okay, so they get back to you within six weeks. And in terms of this application, it did take me a while. Probably a good maybe three weeks or so. So what I would say is don't think you can do this in one day. So set yourself a period of time that you are going to finish, start and finish your application. So if that's like three weeks, then set yourself a deadline and just do a little bit each day. And then what you'll find is that it's a lot less overwhelming. If you try and do this in a day, you're going to end up with a bad application. That, that much I can tell you because it's too much to take in and you're just going to have brain freeze and you're going to want to cry and you're not going to finish it. Be bad. Okay. Cool. All uh, right. Have you got an idea Thank that you, you. want to get um, Ideas that aren't, aren't really completed, that haven't got like a full plan behind them. Yeah. So it's kind of, just kind of ideas that I'd probably speak to you about, but um, they're not full ideas. Okay. Yeah. Well, create your account with Arts Council anyway. Yeah. You know, I'll do that. It's yeah, worth doing that. that. And yeah. what it enables you to do as well is then to look at the different application forms. So what are the different application forms for? Do they have forms for tours and forms for like recording and stuff like that? They have different funds and each fund will have a different application form. So this particular one for um, what I think for what you want to do, you would use this application form basically so but create an account and you'll be able to see like the different forms and the different funding and check out all the deadlines as well this particular one doesn't have a deadline it's just um it's just rolling so you can apply whenever and get a re response within six weeks oh, okay yeah yeah so there's no deadline on this one so all right. Is there anyone else that wants to ask anything? All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it here. And what I would suggest to you, make sure I've got your, your email address and information so that you can be added to the mailing list because I'll do another one. And I'm going to open it out to do a, a form with someone. Right. Where can we send you that? Um, Sorry. Where can we send you our email and stuff? Just put it in the chat. No. What you, if you do it through the Tate website, if you go to okay. join the community and you yep. have to like for your email address and, and whatnot. Okay. Um, All right. Just do that. Just so that your email address is in the somewhere and I can add sure. you to the mailing list. Sure. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll give everyone yep. the date of the next one, the criteria and what I'm looking to cover so that it gives you some time to think about what you want to do and to get your questions ready and we can go through an application form online. If, if anyone's ready, 